Hi, my name is Michael Dadaji and have another video for you today. And in this video, it's why has stupidity and ignorance grown uh, put it in there exponentially in such a short time? I don't know if you've um, been paying attention to the news and things what's happening, but all these world leaders and um, local leaders and everybody, the Democrats, Republicans, somehow, like, you can see that the lies of these people has gotten bolder. You know, the, the, the lies have gotten bolder and the the with these lies getting bolder we're able to see a lot more than we've ever seen before and uh, it's it's pretty scary if you think about it you know now with what's going on um uh, the, there's a term in psychopathy called gaslighting okay gaslighting is to is when usually like a psychopath uh, tries to give a false reality of of something happening you know it's it's like saying it's um dark outside when the lights on and they're gonna just make you believe that this and that's called gaslighting the funny thing is that we call this term gaslighting and in the world right now everybody has a big problem with gas and um i'm gonna be jumping around a little bit on this on this video because the idea of consciousness and to be able to see this I think God right now is definitely we're at the harvest time where the difference between the darnel and the wheat is becoming uh, visible. So this is the darkness and this is the light. So what happens is when we get to a point where the darnel darkens or the tares darken because the wheat will be white but when close to harvest time they are turned to darkness so this now becomes very visible and this visibility of the darkness is what we know as lies jesus said in 844 uh thou uh, do the, uh, the let me go to john 844 sir i can have it in front of me i can read it 844 ye are of your father ye are of a father the devil and the desires of your father ye will do he was a manslayer from the beginning and in truth okay remember truth this is truth in fact you know what let's put it here we'll, we'll go 844 here this way it's a little bit better because um, i'd rather have everybody like kind of read along john 8 44 okay ye are of a father a father the devil and the desires of your father ye will do will to do will this is a will to do he was a manslayer from the beginning and in the truth he hath not stood because there is no truth in him you cannot find wheat inside a darnel you're not going to find truth inside a liar and now we've come to a point where there's so many liars in the world hath not stood because there is no truth in him when one may speak the falsehood so when one may speak the falsehood speaking a lie of his own he speaketh he is giving you the fruit of his essence he is telling you that he is a darnel or she because he is a liar also his father so here we have the children of the devil they speak the falsehood because they are a liar okay back here now so when we're starting to see this uh, when we're starting to see this, now we can be able to see the difference between those speaking the truth and those speaking the lies. So, one is born of truth, and one is born of lies. This is of God, God planted, and this is the father, devil. Okay? 
where where do you see this so evidently now in the world politics you could see this everywhere and this is the time where we're going to start to watch because we have to make sure that we stay in the truth because as we stay in the truth god will protect us from the devil liars if you're going to sacrifice the truth for lies then you know you're going to have a lot of trouble at this time because i am fully beginning to see that we've come to this point where um, a lot of things are becoming very evident so let's go look for darnel again and i like using the wheat and the tares because in the wheat and the tares there's some really interesting things there so we're going to go back to the wheat and the tares so another simile uh, this is a 24 uh, matthew uh, 13 24 another simile he set forth jesus set forth before them simile analogous teaching a simile is showing you something here that we can see in the world see in our lives see in our interpersonal relationships saying the reign of the heavens the reign of light reign of truth was likened unto a man sowing good seed okay so we have a man sowing good seed this is the analogous in his field and while men are asleep his enemy came and sowed darnel in the midst of the wheat and went away so enemy enemy opposite so if you got truth the liars and when the herb sprang up and and we know it's liars because darnel looks like wheat and we're going to come to that in a minute and when the herb sprang up and yielded fruit then appeared also the darnel and the servants of the householder having come near said to him sir good seed didst thou not sow in thy field now first we have the man god now we have his servants okay this is a, a second body this is a second group of people now sir good seed didst thou sow in the field whence then hath it the darnel and he saith it to them a man so now the analogous thing it's a man an enemy did this and the servant said to him wilt thou then having gone away we may gather it up and he said no lest gathering up the darnel ye rooted up with the wheat so the servants of god know the difference between the wheat and the darnel and they know it pretty quick they're not waiting they don't want to wait until harvest time but god said man said wait why because you don't want to take up the wheat the precious wheat remember the wheat is precious to the man to god suffer both to grow together till the harvest and in the time of the harvest i will say to the reapers now this is a third group of people now first we have the man then we have the servants now we have the reapers now what if the now we're not sure if the reapers can tell the difference in the beginning because the reapers might not be the servants because the servants you know could have been said and i will say to the servants no i will say to the reapers the reapers might not know which is the darnel and which is the wheat until the time gather up first the darnel because you could see what the darnel looks like because the darnel is the liar and bind it up in bundles to burn it and the wheat gather up into my storehouse you see the darnel is a counterfeit it tries to look like the light but it doesn't have the light and the difference is lying lying is so important to know and not to be part of it the fear of god is that you you do not want to put darkness in your existence and here's what happens so the bible talks the first words out of the bible is let light be so the first thing is let light be 
First spoken words of the Elohim. Okay. First spoken words. So if we have a son, let light be. Comes the light. The light bear the light shines on everything. And at that point you could see what's going on. Okay, you could see what's going on. So if you are above ground, you could you have the potential to see the light. If you are underground, you can't see the light. The psychopath tries to be not just above ground, but tries to be at the same level of God. The enabler... The enabler underground can't see the true light, but they can only see the fake light. Okay? They can't see this is fake. This is darnal light. This is darnal darkness. Both of this is part of the darnal. At this time, we're able to see the darnal. Because they're fake. Why? This is, this is approximately, you know, five to six feet or whatever high. The average, we're just using this for the average human. The average human is here standing here and their field of view on the ground connected to their body they can see the light the darnel is trying to compete with the light that's why the serpent puts the seed in a field that doesn't belong to him the darnel the the father of the devil sowed his seed inside the field that wasn't his and he flees or she flees the, the the person who put the seed of the darnel flees it is not there to help the uh to tend to the seed we are to the point now we really can start seeing this and when they can be seen when darkness can be seen it loses its mind it loses its mind it doesn't know how to react it doesn't know how to react and you could see this too in um when somebody's doing something when, when somebody's let's say scrolling around somebody's backyard at nighttime the second you turn on the light like rats they leave because they do not want the light they want to be in the darkness. They want to do things in the cover of darkness so they cannot be seen. This is our political landscape now. Now, you know, some people say the Democrats, the Democrats and the Republicans in the United States, it's not, they, they both are part of the same line. Because uh, I've, watched, I've watched people that say they want to expose the hypocrisy of the left. Uh, somebody puts out these videos however at the same time he's glorifying Trump and Trump is not the beacon of the right he's not Trump does not even tell the truth he tells you both and whatever sticks in the media or becomes popular now that's all of a sudden is the truth that is a person being you know uh, moved to the left and moved to the right by the wind and now because now the now because the now in the light the light's coming now and you could see the difference between the wheat and the darnel because this is black now the reapers are going to be seeing it you as an individual have to put uh are required to whether you do it or not that depends on the spirit within you but once you understand this then you you'll understand you have to get away from these people you have to be separated. You have to become holy. And, and the word holy is to separate, to be separated. You know, not everybody's going to be coming together. I'm sorry. We, we, we're not going to put, you're not going to have 
you're not going to have chicken salad with chicken poop. You have to separate the chicken salad from chicken poop. You don't want it. And if you have a bowl of chicken salad, and I tell you there's just one spoonful of chicken poop in that salad, you will not eat it. If I make that bowl the size of 10 bowls, and I said, well, one of them has one spoon full of poop. Once you understand that the poop is there, you don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. It's like finding a hair in your meal. You don't want it there. Knowing that it's in there, you're not going to eat it. You're just not. And probability, ah, I could probably, you know, I could probably eat 95% of this and not get the poop. You're not going to think that way. You're going to think once I know a little bit is in there, you're not going to want anything to do with it. And that's exactly what we get. What we need to do to get away from the evil, from the lies. So, start examining your life. Start examining your life on what's the truth and what's the lie. You have to find out within yourself, where are you? Are you underground? Are you so buried with, with guilt and grief that you think you can't come, your head can't come up? God wants, if God says you're of the light, but you've been convinced you've been uh, darnel and underground, I'll tell you, He will bring you to where you need to be. God will bring you where you need to be. And the darnel, they can't stop lying. They can't stop lying. Just, just look at what's going on with the world, with Russia. Everybody says Russia is the boogeyman. Russia is going to run out of weapons. No, they got plenty of weapons. Russia is not fighting Ukraine. Russia's fighting the United States and Western nations. And the Ukrainians are the useful idiots. That's what's going on. And what's happening now is all these nations, because of the gaslighting of the United States, what they're doing is you can consider... You can consider this the United States and fake Israel. I throw them in there too because they're doing the same problem. The United States is doing the same thing with Ukraine. It's doing the same thing in the Middle East. So, United States, fake Israel. Who's here? Germany. You know, you can say France. You could say uh, Italy, but maybe that'll change with Maloney. She's been saying some interesting things lately. Okay, so all these are the enablers of the Darnell. And, and, and I love this. This, this is so amazing. Whenever you deal, whenever you deal, okay, remember, this is, the, this is the psychopath, okay? This is the psychopath with a big eye, and you have all those enablers which are underground, right? They're underground, and they have the bug vision, right? They got the bug vision, this psychopath or narcissist, because the only difference is one is successful, needs the enablers so that they can get resources. So now, what's the psychopath lie? The psychopath lie is we are all in it together. Okay? This is the globalism that's pitched to the world. We got to work together. We have to dissolve our borders. Okay. The reality is what happened recently, the United States has been charging these Europe, you can say this is Germany, you can say this is France and Italy, whatever, has been charging four times more for the gas to these countries but the United States was saying we're doing this together globalism against Russia you have to do your part against Russia but the United States profited four times on gas sales to the you know to 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 these countries so they look how dumb the they're not dumb they're getting greased on the side but look how dumb they think everybody is that Germany severed ties with Russia for the United States 
and now has to pay four times more money. All these economies, Germany, France, and Italy, will be not only destabilized, but they won't be able to they won't be able to sell their goods and services on the open market. So in this relationship, you could see that this is darkened because they're lying. Russia's fighting Russia's fighting to get the this darkness influence out of Ukraine. It's just too close to Russia. And it's no difference if the United States uh, had a problem with the Cuban Missile Crisis back back in the 60s. It's the same thing. The United States was ready to go for war for that. So wouldn't Russia do the same thing? But because the United States had psychopathic and narcissistic influence over these nations, these nations lost their sovereignty, they lost their identity, and they have to pay through the nose, and they will become no longer a first world nation. This is happening before your eyes. This is the same scenario as the psychopath dealing with the enablers. Same thing. Anybody that's in a relationship with a psychopath can say, yeah, that's exactly what happens. They took my resources, they took my money, my, my food, they lived in my house, they exploited me, and then later they, they, they threw me under the bus. The United States has so lost its way that now it's going to Saudi Arabia and it's thinking of sanctioning Saudi Arabia and, and, and why? Because it wants to win U.S. elections and it's telling Saudi Arabia to not raise uh, the gas prices or the oil prices or not cut production. But Saudi Arabia doesn't care at this point because they see this destabilization. They see these lies. They're getting too too big. So Saudi Arabia now is looking, is looking to, to join with Russia and Russia now is being brought up not as a psychopath, as, as they're trying, not the Bond villain, but Russia is being brought up as a new stable economy. And they're also, who's also working with Russia now? China. China. They're not listening to the United States because the United States has already demonstrated the second they have the advantage on Germany, they're just going to sell you out. So globalism now has been destroyed. Globalism is how the narcissist and the psychopath tell you, hey, we can be a family. We can do this together. We've come to the point right now where a lot of weird things are going to start happening. And they're all happening because the liars now, the liars are visible. The liars now no longer look like wheat. The liars now are the children of the devil. We are beginning to see this. That means that the reapers now are here or about to come. And the reapers, what the reapers can do, the one thing you can do you know, the saints now are going to be shown to the world. And the saints are the ones telling the truth. What they're going to do is they're going to separate themselves from the devil and the liars. They will see the difference between the darnel and the wheat. We are at this time right now. I can't say it enough. I mean, I can, I can pull this out of the Bible all over the place. You know, when... Um, Moses, uh, when some people said everybody's the same, the same, the devil liar is that we're all the same. That's the devil liar. We're all the same. Kohath or Korah had said this to Moses, and what did God do? He said, separate Korah, Korahath from the rest of the place, and and the ground opened up and swallowed them up. The ground swallowed them up. Now, the analogous thinking is light, truth. As these devil liars are showing themselves, they need to maintain greater darkness so that they could be part of the darkness. 
more darkness they have to exude so that they can create a bubble of darkness around them. They need you to believe their lies. Their existence is on believing their lies. Because by them bringing you down to the grave so that you're in darkness, it makes them the light. Just think about this for a second. When a psychopath liar gets you to believe a lie, what they're doing is they're actually making you sacrifice the truth and they become, um, in the devil way, they become now, because you sacrifice the truth, they become the truth in their darkness. And the Bible talks about this. Men love darkness and this is the judgment. Let's go to John. John. John 1. Go. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This one is the beginning with God. All things through Him did happen, and without Him happened not even one thing that hath happened. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. Okay, light. And the light in the darkness did shine. And the darkness did not perceive it. There came a man, having been sent from God, whose name John. This one came for testimony. That he might testify about the light. That all might believe through him. That one was not the light, but that he might testify about the light. He was the true light. Jesus is the true light, Yahweh which doth enlighten every man coming to the world. In the world he was, and the world through him was made, and the world did not know him. To his own things he came. See, the light the true light of God only comes unto his own. This is separation. And his own people did not receive him, but as many as did receive him, to them he gave authority to become the sons of God, to those believing in his name, who not of blood, here it comes, not of will of the flesh, of flesh, nor of will of man, but God who were begotten. You see, you have to be of the light to see the light. And we've been f told all these things of darkness from so many people. And people believe it. So when God pulls you out of that, you know now. And nothing can take that away from you. And the word became flesh and did tabernacle among us. And we beheld his glory. And glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, the true light is full of grace and truth. And truth. So, what's the darkness? It's not grace. You got to work, and it's a lie. You have to work, and it's a lie. That's the opposite of grace and truth. John doth testify concerning him, and hath cried, saying, This was he whom I've said, He who after me is coming, hath come before me, for he was before me. And out of the fullness did we receive, and grace over against grace. For the law through Moses was given, the grace and truth through Jesus Christ did come. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ, not through Moses. God no one hath ever seen, the only begotten Son who is of the bosom, on the bosom of the Father, he did declare. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews were sent out of Jerusalem, priests and Levites, that they might question him, Who art thou?